What's going on everybody? It's your boy Take One Gaming and today I'll be bringing you the official gameplay of The Division 2. That's right, I said the official gameplay of The Division 2. Before we get started guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and also hit that bell, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video when I drop it, alright? So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see in the background right now, that is the official gameplay of the demo of The Division 2 at E3, alright? And no, I'm not the one on the sticks, and this is not me playing the game. I wish I was playing the game, but it's not me. With that being said, we're going to be taking a look at some of the information that was dropped on the table today. So, let's get right into it. In Division 1, we had three specialized classes, okay? Well, not specialized classes, but you had three specialists. You had your Tactical Link, which was known as your Supers. Uh, you had your Revive Link, and then you had the Shield that gave you extra boost of protection. In the Division 2, it looks like they're straying away from that. The reason why I say that, if you take a look at this picture right here, you can see they have three specialists here. You have your survivalist, demolitious, and your sharpshooter. And if you read up top, upon reaching level 30, division agents will be able to activate one of several specialists. Each one you unlock a unique signature weapon and additional skills that offer new ways to play. So I guess it's safe to say they just confirmed that there are more special skills and unique styles of gameplay in this game but these are the only three that they're showing right now if you guys don't know the crossbow which is one of the things i'm very excited to get my hands on and play with that it shoots explosive arrows as of right now but with other signature skills able to unlock i'm sure it's going to shoot a lot more than just explosive bow and arrows then of course you see them uh the demolition she carries around the grenade launcher and we all know the sharpshooter holding that big ass 50 cal sniper rifle on his shoulders and you know that does damage one of the things i found interesting about the sniper rifle when i was watching them play this live demo at the e3 hamish also said that you will be able to shoot multiple targets with that sharpshooter so what that means is if you have three guys in a straight line the bullet can penetrate from one person to another person to another person. So you can take technically kill three people with one shot. That's pretty dope if you ask me. For some time now, there's been rumors around the Division 1, raids were technically coming to the game. But it never happened. What they did, alternatively, they added strikes into the game. Strikes were their rendition of raids. It was very difficult, very challenging at times, sometimes too difficult <laughs> and too challenging at times. But nevertheless raids are meant to be difficult and challenging so we accepted it as what it was but it wasn't technically the official raid style gameplay like what would you do in destiny and other games so on and so forth but i'm here to tell you that the division 2 has officially put the stamp on it the official raids are coming to division 2 when this game release as of right now there's not much information to talk about raids the only thing that we do have is that it will be eight players that can go into the raids which that is outstanding we've been wanting raids for a long time in the division and it's finally happened so as the time get closer to the release date or whenever they have their live streams there'll be more information about the raids so i'll be looking more into that hopefully i can get some more news about the raids but as of right now all we know it's only eight players so we don't know exactly how they look what can we expect from the raids but all i know is that's where all the good loot gonna be at. In Division 1, the map size wasn't all that big. If you really think about it, the Dark Zone probably took up 30 to maybe 45%. I'll even go further and say 50% of the map. Then you had the rest of that to play with outside of the Dark Zone, which was dry. The city never felt like it was alive. There were not much activities to do outside of the Dark Zone. Even if they added HVT missions, when they added those guys, the city never felt alive. But in D2, they said that the city will never feel like that. You will always feel like the city is changing. You will always feel immersed in the city. There will be a lot more resistance. There will be a lot more ac activities. There will be a lot more things to do. Now, that's a lot being said without not much gameplay being shown or information to cover all of that talk. But we'll have to hold them to their words and what they're saying. We'll just have to wait for more information and more gameplay to be released about what we actually can do in the Washington DC area. But one thing I can truly say that they already said is that the map side has increased by 20%. Now that's a lot, all right? Washington DC 
is really big. And they said it's a one-to-one -one ratio of the exact replica of Washington, D.C. That's real big in my opinion, all right? And not to mention, they haven't even talked about the Dark Zone. Even when you look at the mini-map, you don't see nowhere in the Dark Zone. There's only one place on this map where you can kind of speculate where the Dark Zone may be. And that's up here at the top where it's a little reddish. But even then, that wouldn't make any sense to put the Dark Zone right there dead center, like right there in the middle of the map. That does just make sense. I think the Dark Zone is going to be its own area. They're going to kind of do like a Battle Royale type. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. That's just my speculations, and those are my personal opinions. That's not what they said at all, but I think it's going to be something like that. Because let's be honest, the BR world is taking over. I don't want it to be in a division because I don't know how it's going to play out. I kind of like the style that we were doing before, but it didn't work too right. You know, we had a lot of bugs and there was a lot of things to fix, but we'll just have to wait to see what they say about that. Let's talk weapons. They didn't really showcase any special weapons besides the one that we already know about. All right. We know the survivalist. He carries the crossbow, the demolition. She's the grenade launcher and the sharpshooter. Well, we already know what he carries the big 50 cal sniper rifle. Besides that, I didn't see any special weapons, but there were glimpses of loot on the ground that dropped. And they were showing significant signs of other things that are coming to the game. Now, later on, as the game gets closer to release date, I'm 100% sure they're going to release more information about what's to come. You know, what type of weapons we're going to be having in the game and maybe what type of new special ability and special class sets there are in the Division 2. But as of right now, all we know, we have crossbow, we have a grenade launcher, and we have a 50 cal in the game as of right now. You can see them using the LMG which is pretty dope and I've noticed something too on some of these weapons the recoil on these weapons are not as aggressive as they were in D1 even the reticle span they the bloom is not so wide on these weapons and I wonder if that's a new stability type of thing is that something that they're going to bring to the D2 because some of the guns were hella hard to control all right uh, the Liberator, even that gun right there in its own class, if you didn't know how to use the Liberator, when you shoot it, you couldn't, you could spam it, but you would have to pull down on the joystick just a little bit to keep it centered. Other than that, it's going to shoot vertically and go all over the place, all right? And one of the last things I want to talk about, they do have a new fraction in the Division 2. In this gameplay that you're seeing right now, that's the fraction they're fighting, which is known as the True Sons. We don't have enough information about the new fraction exactly. But if you go on over to the Division 2 website, which I'll leave in the description below, they do have a little information about the True Sons, and this is what it says. It says, a group of prime military warlords bent on using their combat experience and overwhelming firepower to dominate their enemies and expand their territory. Smart and organized and True Sons are led by a former JTF officer who is ruthless in combat, makes him and his companions a horrifying force. But I'm sure as we get closer to the release date for the Division 2, more information about this new fraction, True Sons, will be released along with a lot more of information about a lot more other things coming into the Division 2. But as of right now, guys, that's all the information that I have for you on D2. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And like I said, they dropped a new trailer today, so I'll leave that in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you guys found this video, Hit that like, hit that share, turn on the post notification. It's your boy Take One, and I'm out. Peace.